hi guys welcome back to our channel uh excuse the way i look but you'll you'll soon see why i look like this this is a very chilled video and we just wanted to start it as a vlog clip each just because it's just gonna be really chilled. A few weeks ago, we did like a quiz night mukbang, just really chilled on FaceTime type video. And you guys seem to really like our virtual videos. Obviously now the rules have been lifted. We can actually film together, but we said that we would probably still do some virtual videos because we really enjoy doing them and you guys really seem to like them. Tonight, we're gonna do a really nice pamper chilled evening um but also a little q a because we've not done one of those on our channel for quite a long time we did a girl talk but that's like mainly focused on that kind of topic um so we wanted to do a updated q a um on facetime later but right now i'm just gonna jump in the shower my hair is greasy i just need to work it out um so yeah i'm gonna jump in the shower i'm gonna wash my hair i literally cannot wait to wash my hair honestly how nice is the feeling when you are just so fresh and you've got freshly washed hair you're all shaved and just clean yeah i'm gonna get ready for the evening also we're really excited because we're teaming up with estrid which is a razor company and we've actually spoke about these on our instagram already so i've got a couple to show you here the colours are so cute. These are the little cases that you get with them. So they're really travel friendly and I'm definitely going to be taking these away with me. We're supposed to be going away next week. Um, so I can't wait to pack these because obviously, like I just said, they're really travel friendly. So I've got the grey one here and these are vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. The main part of this company that's like I've not really seen anywhere else is that it's a subscription. But you can have a subscription with the company so you can actually sign up to have different razor heads like delivered so you don't have to get rid of the handle you can just keep changing the head which is really eco-friendly um and then you also have a little suction thing on the wall and i have one in my shower already but how handy is that it's so cute i can't wait to have them in my bathroom when i move out because they're so aesthetically pleasing i feel like um and yeah the razor itself like the actual razor heads are so good but yeah we'll leave all the information down below if you want to go check them out i'm sure a lot of you guys shave as me and sid have done for years um but yeah we'll leave that down below really excited to work with them so thank you estrid and i'm gonna jump in the shower and become a little bit fresher and like a dolphin if you know what i mean you know what i mean wow beautiful <laughs> It's just that is just me summed up hello everybody how are we hope you're all doing well today we are going to be doing a sleepover q a update you on some things that we've been using it's going to be a bit of a mismatch but yeah we've wanted to do a little video like this in a while ideally we'd have liked to do this together but it's just easier with everything going on in the world that we just do it from our own homes. Starting this video in my bathroom, I am gonna have a nice bath. I'm gonna wash my hair. My hair needs washing majorly. And I'm just gonna pamper myself a little bit before we sit down and do the Q&A. Probably gonna get some food. It is literally gonna be a really nice chilled night with you guys. We're gonna do as many questions as we can later. I'm gonna get nice and juicy, so stay tuned. I just wanna say thank you to Estrid for sponsoring this video. You guys would have heard us talk about Estrid before. We have worked with them in the past. If you've never heard of Estrid, it is a razor company and their stuff is so cute. This is one of their razors. This is the case it comes in. It's so unique and like contemporary vibes. I'm obsessed, this is the pink colorway. And then the thing you heard me drop at the beginning was the peach one. How Estrid works is it is a monthly subscription brand 
and they send you the body of the razor and this will last you for years it's a sustainable company they send you razor heads monthly you don't have to go out and buy new ones they just come straight to you the brand estrid is vegan and they send all of their products in recyclable materials so the boxes that they come in they can be recycled and they are also recycled i just love them as a brand they really support women's rights i would say my favorite part is probably the cases they're just so cute i'm obsessed and the colorways the colorways are so cute i'm gonna run my bath now i'm gonna shave my legs and do some skincare my skin has actually been really really good at the moment i've got a little bit of fake tan on at the moment i've got on the barley body water which has been kind of like the alternative for me wearing any foundation or concealer or whatever because when my skin is nice i will just happily have nothing but like moisturizer on and what do we think you guys have seen me over the years i actually clicked on a video of us in lanzarote last year but wearing bikinis for 24 hours i'll give you guys permission to go and have a look at that oh my goodness i know that there's people out there that have such bad skin and go through really bad spells of acne my brother actually had some of the worst acne that i've ever seen in my life yeah wearing nothing on it at the moment has been a godsend i would say less is more that's my biggest tip i will jump back on in a sec once i've had my bath and washed my hair and maybe update you on some of the products that i've been using before we actually kick start the q a okay i'm out of the shower i look a little bit crazy um but i'm gonna put a face mask on i think um you balance there yeah wash my hair and i'm kind of into like not brushing it at the moment because i feel like it goes a little bit more natural curly and if i brush it like i'm sure if you guys have naturally wavy hair um you'll know but if i brush it then it just goes a little bit like flat so i just kind of finger comb it i am going to use this clay mask i feel like clay masks actually really get deep in this isn't my favourite one, but like I said, I don't have any other clay ones and I feel like they really like strip all the oils out of your skin. Um, this is a pure clay purity mask from L'Oreal and I'm just going to use, I use an old makeup brush to paint it on. But before I do this, I'm going to put a jumper on because I won't be able to put a jumper on once it's on. Loud. You better not be doing that for the whole video. I just realised this is going to get really tight, it's going to be hard to talk, and we're doing a Q&A, &A, so, that's good. I'm going to get a drink, maybe a cup of coffee, and we'll start filming. Just got out of the bath, nice and fresh now, wanted to come right into the light so you can see my skin before i put on some products i'm gonna put on some moisturizer now i'm not gonna lie i probably am getting a little bit cocky i'm going for like any random moisturizer at the moment just trying out random ones that i get sent just to see if i can find some new faves but i usually don't steer away from my la roche posay products just because they are such a safe bet i've used this one a couple times i got sent it it's, i've never heard of it before it's called narlin yeah i literally keep it minimal and just put on a lot of moisturizer spf in the day and yeah i try not to put on makeup at the moment which i know is such a big ask to a lot of people but Especially times like this at the moment where not necessarily having to go out. I know if you're working and stuff. But to be fair, I think even if I worked like in an office, sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and think, right, these are my co-workers. Are they going to judge me that hard? And just have like a couple of days no makeup unless there's someone you fancy in the office. Then maybe, you know what I mean? This smells so good. I literally put on some eye cream. I can't find an eye cream that I like. Guys, if you have an eye cream, I need to try the Ola Hendrickson one, um, the banana brightening. Apparently that's really good. I've heard the odd person say it doesn't do a thing. I actually quite like the Kylie Skin one. I don't like the rest of her products. I do quite like the eye cream from her. 
and I do want to try her new SPF. Oh, I fall into the trap so bad. Does anyone else fall, fall in the Kardashian Jenner trap so bad? I literally bought all her lip kits when she first bought them out. And then also, I've been putting on some oil on my nails because I'm trying to grow them out. And even though nail shops are getting to the stage where I think they're going to be opening soon, I do think I want to stick to try and doing my own gels. I don't know why. It's called Cutex Care Intense Recovery. I did buy it and rolled my eyes and was like, why fall into this trap? It's definitely not going to do anything. But to be fair, my nails have grown quite a lot in a week. I've got very, very little nail beds. But we'll see. So I literally just coat that oil on and then I like rub it in. I'm actually going to ring y'all now. We're going to start the Q&A. My hair is soaking wet. It's dripping down my back. Lovely. Put a dressing gown on and... Let's crack on with the evening. I'm starving. My coffee. I've got the frothed milk. I've got so good at this, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm under pressure, am I? Oh, 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 oh. No, not really. <laughs> what is that? And then I always use hot chocolate. Hot chocolate powder for the, like, the chocolate sprinkles. And it adds such a difference. I can't even tell you what it is. It's just adds that luxury. I'm recording, darling. So am I. I've been recording for ages. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Sam. 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 You know when she's like, she's like I can't see your expression, expression in my face for at least half hour. Got, I got sent this from Huda Beauty, so I don't know if they sell these, but I always get asked about my funky headbands. I actually don't know any of my headbands from, so I can't help you, but Kaz Bands does a lot of bands like this. You can get them in Primark as well, I'm sure. Okay then, so, darling, she's got her snacks. Have you had crispy m Yeah. Wish I had snacks, but I've just got a coffee. Literally put on my story, we will answer as many as humanly possible. We'll just roll with it. We'll just if roll it relates with to it. both of us, we'll both answer. If it relates to one of us, one of us will answer. And that's how we're going to do it. News on moving out is the first one I saw. Fingers crossed. We're supposed to be moving out in October. It was supposed to be this month that we're in right now, which is July. Um, but obviously COVID happened. Everything was put on pause. Moving out is really stressful. There's so much that goes into it than you think. But we're pretty much there now. It's just building obviously we're not building letting them build and finish the apartments but hopefully by the end of the year i think people forget that we're getting new builds so we're literally almost getting apartments built for us so mm. it's not that <coughs> simple what's your favorite musical high school musical <laughs> that's that oh there's loads like in theater or film i think the one that springs to mind for me is High School Musical. Yeah, all the Disney ones, they're all musicals, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, one quote you live by, uh, everything happens for a reason. Ever so recently, I've been getting a bit in my head. Um, I think Elle used to say this to me. It's like, um, I don't know the actual word in, but it's like, if you can't change something, why stress over it? Don't worry about things that are out of your control. Why should I sit here and stress if it's done? I can't change yeah. it. I actually love that one. Would you ever cut your hair short? You know, someone messaged me the other day and they said, it was a bit of an insult, but I don't think they realised. <laughs> my hair was like tucked here and she was like, oh my God, cut your hair. It looks so good. It looks so stylish. And then she said, and then she replied to my next story. She went, and then you pulled your hair forward and you looked like stupid or something. It, um, ruined, it ruined everything. And I was like, oh, probably not because it, I'm scared of cat. And I remember when I was younger, I cut my hair and I had a chat to myself in the mirror and was like, don't do it again. Yeah. I probably won't cut my hair till I'm older too because I feel like, like you're right. Like when you're young, it's the time to embrace long hair. We've both got really long, thick hair. And I feel like we have a fear that like, if we cut it too short, it might not grow back. Is your mum and nan strict? <laughs> they had phases. Yeah, they're really annoyingly in sync with each other. They're either in sync or they're opposites. And we're really opposite, yeah. But growing up, nan was stricter. So my nan and granddad were really, really strict when we was growing up. And then Elle's mum was quite chill. And now I'd say, not not that she was mum strict now, but your mum cares about stuff that my nan's like, whatever. And we're like, yeah. I think her mum's got better, but she had a phase like a couple of years ago where like everything she was like, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you doing that? No, like, no, you're not going there. You're not. And I was just like, 
Sorry. <laughs> you're both watching this. You're quite bipolar. Yeah, to ask some stuff and they're fine about it. And then the other time I'll be like, chill. And they'll be like, no. <laughs> we go between them both and we're like, so what do you think about this situation? Yeah. And we like get their different. Hmm. But they talk a lot. So we, um, they outsmart us more than we outsmart yeah. them. And they have the same morals. So we've been brought up similar. We've like, we've both been brought up really disciplined, I feel like. And yeah, I wouldn't say strict. Like we've been able to do what we want to a certain extent, but we know right from wrong. What is your go-to free course meal? So I'd say if I had to pick one right here, right now, it would be, it'd be like a garlic bread starter. So boring. Or there's this restaurant near us that does this thing. It's like a bread crumb mozzarella. It's called mozzarella and croza. Mm. That's a good time. And then I'd have my main steak, uh, medium rare. Still, I'm surprised. I do love it. But like a really small side, really nice paying um, homemade chips. It's got to be a chocolate dessert, either like a chocolate fondant or like a chocolate gâteau, hot with mm. cream or profiteroles. rolls. But then I do love a roast. Oh my God. Honestly, I have so many different moods. Your head, right now, I'd say pasta is my main one. Mmm. I was thinking of it as your and I'm a celebrity, it's your final meals. I would never say pasta. No, neither would I. But I'm thinking like go to like every day. A starter, I'd say something like a is that prawn? prawns? Yeah, prawns is peng. Uh, garlic bread sometimes if I'm treating myself. Garlic bread hits the spot. It's boring. It's On holiday, that is the go-to. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, I'd say pasta. Mm. And then cheesecake all day. Yeah, I knew she was going to say that. Cheesecake. Mm. Cheat days on the, on the thing of food. Um, we were just talking about this. Sometimes we have like... Cheat years. A few weeks. <laughs> Would you say cheat weeks? Cheat years. Cheat years. Um... Someone was asking me the other day as well, like, if I work out every day. And basically, I think we both do this. We both have, like, a phase of each. So a phase of, like, being a little bit lazy and just a little bit more laid back and just kind of eating what we want. And then I feel like we have a phase of being, like... I'd say we've got about four Mondays a year where we go into the supermarket and we go, new us, new life. <laughs> It's all about balance and then what I was going to say is like probably have a couple of weeks of hitting it pretty much every day if not every other, eating clean and I feel like we just do it like that because it's what our body craves but we're not too strict and I wouldn't say we have like a cheat day where we're like oh my god I'm going to eat everything. Which you said. How to grow an Instagram feed and get an aesthetic. So recently I've done like a 360 with my Instagram during lockdown, given myself aesthetic. I feel like at first I found it really hard and I followed a lot of people and I was probably putting a bit of pressure on myself and I was like, how do people do it? I think pick a colour and like roll with that. So I went, I, God, I blue, I was a bit blue crazy to be honest with you. <laughs> Blue was for like the whole lockdown. Blue was a while and to be fair I tried to get out of blue for a while but I kept seeing things that I liked that were blue so I was like oh I'll just keep going for a bit longer and I ended up doing blue for about maybe six weeks. There's an app called Planoly. Just take so many pictures. I bulk take pictures. So if I'm, say I'm wearing this dressing gown, I won't just take a picture in this dressing gown. I'll take a picture in this dressing gown, I'll get a close-up of this dressing gown, I'll get a mirror pic of this dressing gown. Different options and then I'll spread them out. So say your grid's like one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll spread them pictures across. I'd just say to anyone that wants to do anything with their Instagram, just give it a go. Yeah, I think you need to just think F what everyone else thinks. Cause yeah. I don't know, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like I love Instagram more than ever, but then I feel like I... I'm on social media way too much. So. That's another ball game, isn't it? Do you believe in horoscopes? Yeah. We both do. Not crazy, we're not like... Always looking at it and like. Actually, do you know your moon sign? No. So your moon sign is how other people perceive you. Apparently, I'm seen as a Sagittarius, but I think I am seen as a Gemini. So. Yeah, you are. So I don't really know how much I believe that, but I've got heard that actually. That's what I mean. Like we're into horoscopes, but not like majorly. Like I haven't. I don't. We don't research it. I just. I do think that a lot of them 
like fit but then at the same time i've heard a lot of people say like they're very vague and they can fit a lot of people which i get as well um but i think it's quite a nice comfort we both actually have an app called costar which a girl at motel rocks pr told us about in new york and rachel yeah she told me about it and it's really like like i said like it's really vague but i feel like it puts thoughts into your head that honestly the other day it was like try and not be on your phone as much today <laughs> and i was i looked at it and it's just like it's something that sticks in the back of your head and like obviously you can say that to anyone but it's just a little reminder each day and you could be like okay i'm actually gonna try and do that today why are you both not moving in together i feel like we've been asked that quite a lot yeah we might as well be <laughs> <laughs> so we are we are both buying in the same apartment block so you've got to think we work together we do every like when we go to like london for meetings we're together we socialize together everything is together so we will technically always still be together in our apartments but like just that sleeping space just being separate i feel like is necessary so we've both got boyfriends we've both got big families like we said that like we could have we could have put our money together and got a house but we both wanted our own space like we probably will decorate very similar but it's still having our own personalities yeah like we can it's completely up to us we're never going to get that back in our lives hopefully like if we get married and have kids i say that a lot you're never we're never ever like part of me is like be wild have a pink sofa mm. because like Probably the next place we live, we're gonna be with a male, and mm. oh, like we're they're not gonna want a stupid pink sofa. And also, just both getting on the property ladder, like it's just easier to do it each, and but together. So like each, but together. Do you believe in the law of attraction? A hundred percent. I need to watch Ellie Darby's video. I know she done a video on it the other day. Um, mm. I feel. I was gonna say to you, I want us to do like a law of attraction board, like a mood board. What the law of attraction is, I feel like it's just like speaking stuff into existence, really. Yeah, and also just your attitude. Like, I think it goes without saying as well. If you have a positive attitude, positive things will happen. And if you have a negative attitude, negative things will happen. And I think that is just, it just makes so much sense. We still wanna do that time capsule. Yeah. Yeah. We need to do we it before to... the end of 2020. 2020. Yeah, oh God, loads of. 2020 um yeah basically putting things in a box and if you've seen the film crossroads which you still haven't seen, seen no i oh, still haven't, haven't seen um well, they, they, they put things into a box and then they bury it and dig it up like 10 years later and it's all fun my light has gone so funny i'm dark but never mind i'm gonna wash this face mask off now is that all of our questions for today yeah otherwise this video is gonna be six hours long to what one extreme for my life do you know what the problem is? We try to answer more and with like less detail, but we always go into loads of detail. Oh yeah, we didn't actually answer them that quick. So. Hope you yeah, enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I love doing Q and A's. I feel like we do loads on Instagram, and yeah, you guys seem to like ask nice questions. Even though we've pretty much been asked everything now, so it's hard to get new ones. But and, uh, yeah, we try and be juicy. We're not that excited. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video thank you to estrid for sponsoring this we'll leave all the information on how you can sign up to their subscription and purchase their razors down below stay safe we love you and we will see you next time we love you don't so much subscribe. don't forget to subscribe. Don't subscribe and my legs are so smooth <laughs> see you soon bye, bye.